The Drug Abuse Comprehensive Coordinating Office is one of Florida's largest community-based providers that helps to save lives and keeps families together by addressing substance abuse and mental health issues. Today, CEO Mary Lynn Allery is here to talk about a new drug to help prevent the overdose of opiate drugs. Welcome, Mary Lynn. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having us on and for highlighting what we do in the community. I was going to say, just kind of overall, talk a little bit about DACO. So much easier to say than the, the title I just had to run through there. <laughs> the truth. <laughs> but talk about what you are doing because so many people want to turn a blind eye to addiction and you're really trying to change that. Actually, we saw about 6,000 people in treatment this year. We have about 300 counselors. Oh, wow. and. Uh, particularly this year, we work a lot with mothers that have um, children that have been removed or might be removed, and 104 drug-free babies were born while moms were in treatment at DACO this year. So we do lots of work with pregnant women and have national awards for that. I'm assuming um, as CEO, it's just, it's got to be heartwarming to see the difference that you're able to make in those lives in the community. It really is. We're in the school district, in schools, and I actually see adults and children and um, lots of participation with drug courts and, and other things. And so people don't wake up in the morning and say, I think I want to go to DACO for help, but somebody in their family or the court or the police or somebody mm -hmm. says, I think you need some help, and then they'll show up. So hopefully someday people will wake up just like they do with a broken leg and say I need to see a doctor and mm -hmm. we'll come down. Mm -hmm. um, it's a medical model. We have three doctors on staff and about four nurse practitioners and uh, lots of nurses and so it's, it's a disease and not um, a flaw in someone's personality so we're really excited that people are starting to open their eyes to this. I really like that. It's a disease not a flaw. Right. I wish we could put that on like a bumper sticker or something. <laughs> I think we need to do that for DACO and, and I think also it's kind of a, an exciting time I want to say because there has been a new drug to really battle these opioid overdoses that we're seeing. So please break it down for us because I'm sure we've probably heard sure. a lot about it on the news. Well, we had um, 47,000 overdoses last year in the United States and 26,000 of them were from opiates. Jeez. Five people a day die in Florida. Mm. If you can wrap mm. your head around that, five people a day. So. Um, the uh, naloxone is a new drug that has come out that is available to everybody now. You can go to actually, CVS is, is uh, going to give it away to people that have family members that use drugs and mm -hmm. might overdose because no one plans to overdose. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have naloxone on hand, you can actually squirt it in someone's nostril. Um, mm. or have a shot that actually goes in the leg like somebody with a bee sting that's allergic mm -hmm. to bees. You do the same thing, it's an injection. Um, and it lasts about 10 minutes. It gives you time to call 911 and get them to a hospital. People don't follow up with that information, so I've been really upset with the fact that don't just do that, do something else I think too, that everything's gonna and think be that fine. everything's gonna be fine, that I've saved them because they're awake now and alert. It, it really doesn't last long enough. Okay. It only lasts long enough to call 911 or give another shot waiting for 911 to come. So it's important to, to intervene. Yeah. And it's important for people that know people that use drugs and love them to actually have some of this on, on hand. How do you know if you are a family member and you're lucky enough to have this drug at your home? What kind of situation presents itself? How do you know that this person is overdosing? When do you administer the drug? How do you know it's, it's actually an opioid that would be affected by this drug? I mean, I'm sure those are a lot of questions that people would want to. It is, and what's really good about it is, is there is no, um, there's protection for people People that use the drug, um, both um, criminal and um, other protections, so that if you do it and it's the wrong thing to be doing, yeah, yeah. then then you're not at fault. But um, somebody would be passed out with drug paraphernalia around them. You'd come upon the situation and they're still breathing. You'd know something to do. Or you might be with somebody mm. and be using drugs with them. Mm. And um, unfortunately, know that this was available if, if somebody accidentally overdosed. Um, people are scared when an overdose happens because they know they'll be at fault too. So they leave the scene and the person there, they might call 911, they might not because they don't know what to do. And this actually is a, a rescue drug. It helps someone that, um, um, a parent or a loved one that, that you're doing this with 
or come upon someone, you know what to do if that happens. Wow. So. wow. Well, exciting, exciting breakthrough possibly to help with this overdose problem. Again, that is definitely a problem in our area. So thank you so much, Mary Lynn, for coming in and talking welcome. about it today. And for more information on all that we have covered, you can call DACO at 813-384-4000 or log on to their website at DACO.org.